Aloha beaches and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new to my channel, my name is Scott. I'm a Detroit-based flight attendant living on the island of Maui in the state of Hawaii. In this vlog, I'm actually on another flight attendant trip. And if you can tell from the title of this vlog, I'm on my first international trip. How exciting. And I'm in, can you guess? Can you guess? I'm in Ottawa, Canada. So I'm really excited. It's a little after 11 o'clock at night, so I'm not really going to do anything tonight, but I have most of the day tomorrow. I don't have a report time until about 3 o'clock is when the shuttle's going to pick us up, so I will go explore Ottawa tomorrow morning and show you guys what I find here in Canada. So I thought I'd start off the vlog with my usual room tour of the hotel here in Ottawa, Canada. So let me show you around. So coming into the room here, we go straight into the bathroom, which is very nice. I love the lighting in this bathroom. Like almost like white marble. Pretty nice tub. Nice shower as well. I love detachable shower heads. And then we come into the room. Over here is a closet. And it has a coffee maker down there. Coffee maker. Iron and ironing board, which as you guys probably saw in my other vlog, all about the iron and ironing board. So let's go into the room now. All right, so sorry, my bags, I just unloaded here. So anyway, we come into the room. There's a nice bed. I think that's a queen. I have a nice sitting area right here. And then I have a desk area here and a nice big TV. And then I can show you the view. It's night, so I won't be able to see much. But I'm in the downtown area of Ottawa, so I will show you what I see in the daylight. Anyway, I haven't really even looked on maps or um, looked into what is nearby. I'll look into more stuff and plan an itinerary and I'll meet you guys tomorrow morning where I'll take you around Ottawa, Canada and we'll see what we discover. For now, I'm going to get out of this uniform. I'm going to hit this bed right here because I am tired even though my energy is still up because I'm just excited to be in Canada. I will see you guys in the morning and we'll go explore. All right. Aloha. Good night. Bye. Bonjour beaches and good morning from Ottawa, Canada. As you can see, I'm up and ready. I'm ready to go out and explore. But I thought I'd show you guys the view as I promised to show you what the view would look like in the daylight. So let's take a look. It's really just a city street and some buildings. Nothing too spectacular really. So I did a little research and found that I am not very far from Parliament Hill in Ottawa where apparently in the summertime they have a changing of the guard ritual, which is kind of similar to what they do at like Buckingham Palace and stuff. So I thought I'd walk over there, check that out. It says that it's about a 10 to 15 minute walk. So I'm gonna walk over there, check it out, and then I might go grab a bite to eat. The, rich, the changing of the guard happens every morning at 9.45, and I believe it's about 9.15 now. So I need to get on my way. So let's head over there. I'll show you guys the changing of the guard, and then we'll go explore Ottawa together. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I am walking around Ottawa. I'm on this street called Wellington, making my way to Parliament Hill to see the changing of the guard. Look at these buildings here. So this building here is the Supreme Court of Canada, or at least it's part of the Supreme Court. Pretty awesome looking church across the street there. All right, let's go to Parliament Hill and watch the changing of the guard, shall we? I'm walking up Parliament Hill now. Looks like that's the Parliament building. I'm gonna go see where the changing of the guards are. Looks like there's a lot of construction here, so hopefully you can hear me. But it looks like they're doing some restoration stuff on the buildings. So let's see what I can find up here. So I am currently in the middle of Parliament Hill in Parliament Square. Take a look around me. Isn't this amazing? Let me show you some of the buildings here. I'm just awestruck by the architecture here. So it's currently it's currently 9:40, so the changing of the guard starts at 9:45. So 
let's watch that unfold. The first guard mount took place on Parliament Hill on July 2nd, 1959, and is modeled after a similar parade at Buckingham Palace. Today, the ceremonial guard is composed of regular and reserve force soldiers from Canadian Army regiments across the country. All members on parade are trained soldiers, many having seen overseas duties. The change in the guard is performed daily on Parliament Hill from late June to late August, weather permitting, year after year. And if you visit the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, located at the corner of Elgin and Wellington Streets, you will see sentries on duty until 5 p.m. daily. Avant que la garde de cérémonie ne se présente, nous aimerions vous parler davantage de cette parade. La première a eu lieu le 2 juillet 1959 sur la colline du Parlement et s'inspire de la parade qui a lieu au palais Buckingham. De nos jours, la garde de cérémonie est composée de soldats de la force régulière ou de la première réserve provenant des différents régiments de partout au Canada. Tous les membres de la parade sont des soldats du monde entraînés, plusieurs ayant servi en opération internationale. La relève de la garde a lieu à tous les jours sur la colline du Parlement de fin juin à la fin août, si la météo le permet, et revient à chaque année. Nous, vous pouvez aussi, aussi voir des sentinelles en poste à la tombe du soldat inconnu, situé à l'angle des rues Elgin et Wellington, à tous les jours jusqu'à 17 h the old guard will be arriving soon. We will be back shortly to tell you more about the ceremony. La garde descendante arrivera sous peu. Nous vous reviendrons dans un instant pour vous en dire plus sur la relève de la garde.
are wearing either the uniform of the Governor General's Foot Guards from Ottawa, identified by the red plume in the bearskin cap and the distinct two-by-two -two button pattern on their red tunics, or the uniform of the Canadian Grenadier Guards from Montreal with the white plume in the bearskin cap and distinct single buttons.
We hope you've enjoyed the changing of our parade. So I'm making my way to this diner called Capital Diner. I looked it up online last night and it sounded good. The funny thing is, my phone doesn't work here in Canada for some reason. It will work when I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, but when I'm out and about it doesn't work. So I went to this info center and got a map and asked them how to get there. You know, years ago, before we had our cell phones and stuff like that, but you actually have to ask questions, get a map, and ask for directions. So it was a very humbling experience to do that. So I have my map and I have my directions to this Capital Diner and I will show you guys my breakfast. So I'm in the Capital Diner and I'm looking at the menu here. Looks like they have quite a bit of breakfast options, but I think I'm gonna try, um, this is a, I think a Canadian special um, dish poutine, and they have a breakfast one, so I'm gonna try that. But they also have sandwiches, lunch items and burgers and things like that. And there's a whole section of different kinds of poutine. They have a roast beef poutine, sauteed vegetable poutine, Italian poutine. I hope I'm saying it right. Poutine or potine poutine? Smoked meat poutine, capital diner poutine has dried chicken, bacon, and sauteed onion. So here's my breakfast poutine. It's a bowl of home fries topped with diced tomato, sausage, cheese curds, gravy, and two over easy eggs with hollandaise sauce instead of gravy. So let's get a bite. I have the sausage, potato, and the eggs. Sausage, potato, and eggs. Let's try it. It's good. This is breakfast poutine in Ottawa, Canada. So I'm at the Notre Dame Basilica here in Ottawa. Let's take a look at the church here. Not the Notre Dame in Paris. I kind of feel like I'm in a cross between England and France here in Ottawa. I mean, with the changing of the guard and then all the French, the French language, and then it's pretty cool. Would have never thought. I'm gonna see if I can go inside. It said that there were guided tours. I don't know if I can film inside, but I'm gonna take a peek inside since I'm here. But it's so cool to be at the Notre Dame in Ottawa, not Paris. One day I'll get to the Notre Dame in Paris, but I'll go with James. Like, all right, let's see if I can go inside. I'll see if I can film inside or not.
guys. So I made it back to my hotel. Um, sorry, let me turn on the TV. I'm just watching some local news and I'm kind of obsessed because it's in French. See? I have no idea what they're saying, but kind of cool that the TV is in French. So let me just turn this down real quick. Anyways, sorry. So I made it back to my hotel. I had such a great day in Ottawa after I ate um, the potin, potin, potin. I think they said it's pronounced pro, they just say potin, but I like potin. So anyway, um, after my breakfast, the breakfast potin, I walked around um, the city center and I made my way to the Notre Dame church, which I'm sure you saw, you guys saw some footage from that, which was really cool. After Notre Dame, I found a little shopping area and did a little shopping, bought some souvenirs to take home. Um, actually, I have it laid out on the bed right now. Let me just show you kind of what I got. I just got some um, t-shirts. This one's going to be for my mom. I liked this one that said Canada A, so that's going to be mine. I bought this for James because he loves Star Wars, and it just says Ottawa, Canada, may the forest be with you. Isn't that awesome? It's the cutest shirt. I know he's going to love that. And then I bought some like magnets and um, postcards. And I bought, they had these little bottles of pure um, Canadian maple syrup. So I bought a couple of these bottles. That's in what's in this bag right here. But yeah, so I was pleasantly surprised with Ottawa. It was a beautiful city. I felt like I got a little bit of mixture of um, French and United Kingdom as well as being in North America because you know I got to see the changing of the guard and yet a lot of people here speak French and the architecture was beautiful it just especially in the Notre Dame and the Parliament and everything it all just I was so awestruck by it and it was just stunning I, I definitely want to come back here so I highly recommend anybody come to Ottawa especially in the summertime because it was the weather was beautiful I mean, I was walking down the street and I started to break a sweat because it was probably in the low to mid 80s, just so beautiful. Anyways, so it is, what time is it? It's about going on 1.30. I have a shuttle pickup at three, so I do have about an hour and a half left. So I did have a little more time that I could have done a little more in Ottawa, but I like to give myself enough time to pack and unwind before flying back. So I'm just doing one flight back to Detroit today. Um, it's only a little over an hour, maybe like an hour and five, ten minutes flight. So I'll be back in Detroit by the end of the day and be back in my crash pad and then I'm going on another trip tomorrow. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. My first international trip as a flight attendant was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Do comment below what you thought and I will see you guys on the next vlog. All right. Aloha. Bye.